was why I joined Peace Cells. My, que my question was, if people within the movement can't get along, what hope is there for the rest of the world? And what I came away with, I think, is that we are so diverse. Even, you know, people talk about the city of Ashland being pablum, that everybody is the same. But there's immense diversity. There may not be a lot of racial diversity, but there's certainly a lot of diversity of ideas. And I, I come from an image, digital image processing where we understand the concept of fractals, where the smallest grain of sand mimics the same characteristics as the entire beach, as the entire world, the same as a leaf mimics the same characteristics of the entire tree. And I think that's what I want to, just the comment that I feel is significant to make, that it's important to both look within and look at that as a microcosm of what's going on in the entire world. Thank you. Thank you, Pam. Um, the, uh, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to bring it to a conclusion. Grab a sandwich on in the kitchen, Ellen, as your There's reward for being very, here. There's <laughs> another really important little piece oh, that I think fits with Pam that, that's important to say and to ask Ruth to speak about it because I think Peace House is a fractal of the, of the community and the fact that it survived is really good news because We've, we're a wonderful example of, of um, polarities and dissension and, get, and collaboration and working through things. And a perfect example of how Peace House did this out in the world was with the watershed, the Ashland Stewardship Watershed Alliance, that Ruth was the one who spearheaded that. And it's a perfect example of bringing disparate factions of the community together to work together, to sit down and talk it out. It was beautiful. I wanted to uh, close by focusing on the present. Uh, Peace House is strong in large part because so many people over the years have put so much of themselves into it. We had a wonderful year last year, uh, and, and the work is uh, described in this report, 2011 Peace House Annual Report. It is up on our website, uh, so you can look at this, but you can't take it away. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, um, but we, all of us who are currently working with Peace House feel really good about what we're doing. Uh, and we will continue these programs, all these programs described, the, the uh, Federal Budget Education Program, Empowering the hum Homeless, uh, Uncle Food's Diner, uh, Ending the Wars, um, Working with Occupy for ec Economic Justice. All of that work will continue and it will continue vigorously. Uh, I, I do want to... Uh, say though that we have uh, two major focuses right now uh, that it's important for people to be aware of. The most urgent is heading off an armed conflict with Iran. Uh, and uh, we are working with uh, other peace groups in the valley to come up with a joint statement that all the groups can endorse and then we will release it to the public to edu educate uh, people here that what happened in the run-up to the 2003 illegal, unnecessary, and ultimately disastrous invasion of Iraq is happening again. And that our historical experience should certainly teach us that that is not the way to resolve the problem we face. Uh, so we're working very hard on that. The second thing is uh, the, the move to amend, because the power of money uh, in this society and in the political process is so pervasive and so detrimental that we must do something to, to significantly curtail it 